All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation eight to the power of x is equal to 88. So my only variable in this equation is x. So that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution. I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation down here so I have a little more solving space. So my equation is 8 to the power of x is equal to 88. Now I'm first going to start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 8 to the power of x is equal to log of 88. Now, if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. In this case, I have log a to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 8 is equal to log 88. And the reason this property is so useful is be because before, x was an exponent. And for our equation, if x is 1, I get 8. If x is 2, I get 64. And if x is 3, I get 64 times 8, which is 512. And we want to find what value of x results in 88, which is somewhere in between 2 and 3, but we don't ex know exactly where because it's going to be a decimal. So we can't really find the exact value as x when x is in uh, exponent form. So this is why we can make it into a real term using this property, and now it's much simpler to solve for it. So now I have x times log 8 is equal to log 88. And I want to isolate x because that's what I'm solving for, so I'm going to get rid of this log 8 by dividing both sides by log 8. So now these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 88 over log 8. Now log 88, I can rewrite this as log of 8 times 11. So I have log of 8 times 11 over log 8. And now another property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 8 times 11 is going to equal log of 8 plus log of 11. And I have this over log of 8. Now, if I have something in the form a plus b over c, this is equal to a over c plus b over c, which is a simple fraction property. So log 8 plus log 11 over log 8, I can write that as log 8 over log 8 plus log 11 over log 8. Now, log 8 and log 8 cancel out to get 1. So I get 1 plus log 11 over log 8. So now, all that's left is to plug in the actual values of log 11 and log 8 and solve. So log 11 is equal to approximately 1.04 and log 8 is equal to approximately 0 0.90. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 1.04 over 0 0.90 which is equal to 
1 plus 1.16, meaning x is equal to 2.16. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 81 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 18. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to rewrite this equation. So 81 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 18. And now, I'm going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So I get 81 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over x. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 81 to the power of x times 1 over x is equal to 81 to the power of 1, which is the same thing as 81. So I get 81 is equal to x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over x and x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over x is the same thing as x to the power of 18 times 1 over x, which is the same thing as x to the power of 18 over x. Now, I'm going to take the power of 1 over 18 on both sides. So I get 81 to the power of 1 over 18 is equal to x to the power of 18 over x to the power of 1 over 18. And this is the same thing as 81 to the power of 1 over 18 is equal to x to the power of 18 over x times 8 times 1 over 18. And these two 18s cancel out. So I get 81 to the power of 1 over 18 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, 81 here is the same thing as 9 squared. So I'm going to rewrite this as 9 squared to the power of 1 over 18 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And now this is the same thing as 9 to the power of 2 times 1 over 18 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And 2 times 1 over 18 is the same thing as 1 over 9. So I get 9 to the power of 1 over 9 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, notice how this is in the form a number to the power of 1 over that same number is equal to x to the power of 1 over x, meaning x is equal to this number 9. So now, going back to the original equation, let's go ahead and check if this is right. So I have 81 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 18. So x is equal to 9. So if I plug in 9 for x, I get 81 to the power of 9 is equal to 9 to the power of 18. Now, 81 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 4. And 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. So I get three, 3 to the power of 4 to the power of 9 is equal to 3 squared to the power of 18. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, that's equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 4 to the power of 9 is equal to 3 to the power of 4 times 9, which is 3 to the power of 36. And this is equal to 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 18, which is equal to 3 to the power of 36 as well. So this is right.